Usually the, the inmate ministers for the particular area where we're going know that we're coming and we connect with them when we go in. You know, because oh, they're really? on the other side of the <laughs> cell. You're talking to them oh, you know, through the through cell. The cell. Door. Yeah. Oh, shoot. What did you think it was going to well, be? Well, I thought we were going to go into the cell and have a really personable time with them. No, and on these kinds of visits, because we're trying to cover quite a few, the conversations might be very, very short. Some were yeah. like four or five minutes, but normally we have about 10 to 15 minutes, you know cell you know, or you know, when we go into a tier. I've got a question for you. In terms of ministry and following the Great Commission of Christ, have you ever thought you might not be the best person for the job? Have you ever considered yourself too busy, too poor, not smart enough, or maybe too old? What I want you to do is to connect with people relationally, you know, just show love and interest, you know, uh, let them share as much as they want to. If God gives you something that would be a word of encouragement or something from your story to share with them. Last spring, I got to meet Chuck Broughton and Bill Moritz of the Navigators while they led a group of 22 volunteers to Angola State Penitentiary. It's a maximum security prison located an hour north of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I was asked to come along on the trip and document as much as I could over the course of five days. One of the most memorable events I was able to capture occurred when the Navigators and Angola prison staff gave the volunteers the opportunity to visit with the inmates in their own cell block, face to face, doing cell to cell ministry. So this is your, fir this is your first time? <laughs> uh-huh, it so is. You've, so you've never, have you ever been in a prison before? No. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, but, I thought you were in for 10 years at one time. <laughs> That's what everybody thinks I should have been. Dottie was an 88-year-old volunteer I met from Dallas, Texas. She had heard of the Navigator's efforts to disciple men serving life sentences and decided she too wanted to go to prison. Dottie and I seemed to move at a similar pace. We kept bumping into each other. And so the more this happened, the more I decided to try to film her. Come on. I'm getting ready to go in. It's called um, TU. It's a transitional unit. Um, the offenders that we house here um, are the offenders that have mental health issues. Don't, you know, put your hand in the um, cell. You know, if they ask you for a pen or anything like that, you know, do not give them anything. Um, do not shake hands. The, the Navigator Ministry is not about performance. It's not about having people come and watch what we do. It's a matter of training people, having them experience ministry, giving them the opportunity to share what God has taught them with people who want to hear what they have to say. I was told I could only film from the end of the terminal as the volunteers were cleared to enter the cell ward. And so the conversations had during that moment would only be between the prisoners and the volunteers who chose to come to Angola. If I am alive this time next year Will I have arrived in time to share? Dottie brought so much joy and energy to the men during her visit that the following day prison staff gave her the opportunity to visit with men serving life sentences in the assisted living center. Most of the inmates in Angola will never be released, so the prison formed an assisted living and hospice care unit. And I am joining all my thoughts to you. was so uh, uh, receptive to what we had to say. Yeah. What we had to say to them, they always had something nice to say back to yes. us, you know, and we said, we want to pray for you, and they were so kind. I mean, not everyone of me said, and I want to pray for you. Yeah. And I said, please do, because we need all the prayers we can get. Right. Really, 
an uplifting experience. I never dreamt that one of them would say, well, I will pray for you. I never thought I would hear that. And it was really sweet. It, the whole experience was a sweet experience. And I know that alarm, that aroma went up to the Lord. Yes. In fact, one of them said, I feel, I feel this spirit. I just thought, this is miraculous that, you know, I know the Lord was there with us and he felt it. And for him to say that, it's just, oh, it was touching. It was very touching. So what did I learn from all this? Well, remember my question in the beginning about feeling like you're not the right person for the job? I'm sure many of us would have assumed Donnie was not the right person for the job, especially in a maximum security prison. But when you look at the footage that God allowed me to capture at Angola, you begin to understand that no matter where you are in your life, God has a way to use you right then and there. It's just a matter of, are you willing? Joy.